This is the 2019 Magnitude BH-35. The BH-35 is the bath and a half floor plan. It is the longest of the three floor plans that the Magnitude offers. This will come in two inches longer than the bunk model, as well as a little over a foot longer than the SV-34. This comes on the Ford F550 chassis. So this houses a 6.7 power stroke that's gonna let out 330 horsepower and 750 foot-pounds of torque. So you get a lot of power with this motor. The other luxury features you're really gonna find on this is you have this one-piece fiberglass front cap. Now you're only finding that on our higher end gas class A models and our diesel pushers. What that does is protects the entire front portion of the motorhome from the elements. And it also has, only has one seam where it connects. So that way it's easier to maintain and to look after for the customer. This paint scheme, this is our Silver Springs. We have the two paint schemes on the Magnitude, the Jewel Tide, which your bases will be a lot more maroons and blacks. With this, your base is gonna be a silver and kind of a gold, which is a really, really eye appealing look. Now the BH35 has the most exterior storage space with 115 cubic feet of storage. All of our storage bays are going to be rotocast, which is a spun plastic. What's really nice about that is a lot of storage bays in the industry, you're going to find a lot of metal, where a lot of times when those are exposed to the elements, you're going to get a lot of rust, and if you get a dewy morning sometimes, it gets watery, and you just get, it gets all nasty in there with this. It'll never rust, and you'll never get any mold or mildew from carpet material that a lot of times you're going to find in storage bays. Uh, where this, If this ever gets dirty, all you have to do is wash it out with a garden hose, and it has a drain hole at, in every access, and you can just get out all of that waste. But what I like mostly is this double door storage bay. So you do have larger, bulkier items, you can fit them in very easily. And it is a small pass through, so if you do have lawn chairs, paddles, things of that nature, you can fit those in there. And the magnitude being our highest trim level at Thor Motor Coach, you're gonna get those frameless windows, which covers up the seals of the window itself, prolonging the life of those seals. And then you can also have these windows open in the rain, they just bow out. Um, but it's just a sharper look, it's tinted, it's more appealing to the eye. You'll get a good look at this 14 foot carefree awning we have on the Magnitude. Now the SV34 and the BB35 are going to have 20 foot awnings, but this having a bed slide in the back limits the awning space. But this does have the motion sensor here in the front, and what that does, if you do get a heavy gust of wind or a big rainfall, and this awning does notice movement, the awning will attract back in automatically, which is nice. And it does is on the scissor arms, so that way it doesn't obstruct your view on the side, and you won't ever bunk your head on it. And you'll see the nice LED lighting we have on the awning itself, connected to the motorhome. Raised chrome badge for the magnitude itself which is something you're only gonna find on our higher end diesel pushers. Your exterior entertainment center is a 32 inch exterior TV and you do have a Bluetooth sound bar that is connected to the TV. You can hook up your phone via Bluetooth. You have an aux cord, you also get AM and FM. So you have a lot of um, options available for that sound bar. And that TV does pop out on a mount and it's just magnetically backed. So when you wanna get a better view, you can just move it at whatever angle and you can just put it back in and it sticks right back to where it's supposed to be more storage here you'll notice all of our storage bays they're all gonna be a side hinged and slam latch door not gonna have any rotary hinges that basically just turns the door closed these are all slam latch same things you're getting on our diesel pushers so all I have to do when you want to close just shut it like so and it's a much easier close they all come out on the side so it's much more convenient to put in items large storage space in the rear here and it's going to be a finished storage so large items can fit in here it is a pass through as well now the sv34 and the bunk model the bb35 come standard with an outside kitchen but because we have the bed slide right here that limits the ability to put in an outside kitchen so we give you the storage option now your quick connect for your LP right here. So if you have a gas grill, all you have to do is plug in your LP right here. 
and it's very simple, it goes off your main fuel tank, or your main LP tank. That's going to be a 68 pound tank that's equivalent to about 20 gallons of LP itself. We do a lot of things in this motorhome to limit the LP we put in. So we're able to put in a smaller tank, giving you more storage capacity on the inside. What you'll notice, all of our storage bays have LED lights on the inside, but none of these lights have switches on them. They're all controlled wirelessly through the multiplex system inside the coach. So before you even leave your motorhome, say it's nighttime, all you have to do is press one button, all your cargo lights go on, come outside, find what you need, close it, go back in, and these are on a 30 minute timer. So if you do forget, you do not ever have to worry about your batteries draining. It'll just shut off automatically. Now on that back end, just like that front side, you're gonna get a one piece fiberglass rear cap. Now that's gonna protect the entire rear end of the motorhome. And it's something you only do find on our higher end pieces. I say that over and over, but that's the plus of getting a Super C. You're getting all of our best features on our luxury motorhomes on a Class C. Now you do have a backup camera here, as well with a ladder that comes standard. But what's probably the biggest point I wanna hit on on the back side here is your 10,000 pound hitch. Now that is a true 10,000 pound hitch because the vehicle itself can actually handle 16,000 pounds. So if you have a large trailers you want to tow, stock cars, um, no matter what it is, you have a lot of room to work with. As we come around the side, you're going to see our rear dump station. So you have a, this is a bath and a half, so you have actually two bathrooms. You have a mid bath and a master bath. This is the dump station for the master bath. What's nice about it, it's very large. You're not cramped inside there. And I'll show you the mid bath in a second. Now this motorhome does have two fuel fills. But the benefit of the two fuel fills is you get best in class fuel capacity. The magnitude is gonna have 68 gallons of fuel capacity. So here being Wakarusa, Indiana, basically the Michigan, Indiana border, um, this vehicle itself probably going to get you around 10 miles per gallon. Now with that size of tank, you'll get all the way to exactly Atlanta, Georgia from here on one tank of fuel. Now that's pretty impressive. Other side of our storage bays here. If you go around the unit even more, take you to our mid-bath dump station. Now, what's nice about this dump station is it is double door. In a lot of dump stations, you're kind of in a very confined space and it gets kind of nasty and you don't want to be stuck in there. So with this, both doors swing open, giving you a much larger access point and it's very comfortable to be able to put your hoses and connect everything, not to worry about being confined. And you do have the swivel head to easily attach your hose, drain your tanks. And if it does get dirty in there, you do have the outside shower located right in there. You can just wash everything out real plain and simple. Call it a day. Now there is the fuel point for your front tank. And how your fuel tanks work, because since you have two, I know it's not familiar with a lot of people, how it's gonna work is you have a 28 gallon tank in the front and you have a 40 gallon tank in the rear. The motor's gonna pull from the front tank first and it's gonna pull from that tank until it reaches a third of a tank. Once it reaches a third, it's gonna automatically switch over to the rear and it's going to drain that entire tank. Once it drains the rear, it's going to go back to the front. The reason why we only have the front go to a third, so that way your generator draws off of that front tank. So that way it does a little bit of juice to work with while you're driving. Um, but here you can see your Cummins Onan 6,000 watt diesel generator, like I said, which runs off your uh, main front fuel tank. Now this, what I really like about this, is this motorhome comes standard with a tankless water heater. In the industry, you really have two types of water heaters, a tank and a tankless. Um, your tank's going to have anywhere from a 6-gallon to a 10-gallon. How that works is you have a big 6-gallon or 10-gallon tank in there and you heat up all that water and you use whatever you use. Say you only use 2 gallons, you just wasted 8. What's nice about this is you have a module in the bathroom where you set your temperature and anytime you turn on the hot water, it heats up the water directly to the temperature you set it at. So it saves a lot of LP because you're only using 
what you turn on. And as soon as you shut it off, shuts off the system. So it's much more fuel efficient and very convenient because that way we can put in, you don't have to worry about is getting as much LP and going through as a lot of LP as people do, especially like the boondock. Here you can see your 68 pound, 20 gallon LP tank as well with the motor for your hydraulic jacks. Now the leveling system standard on this motorhome, it is a four point hydraulic leveling system, uh, best in the industry, it's a Lippert system. Um, one thing I do want to hit on your actual tanks itself, you have 75 gallons of fresh water and you're going to have 80 gallons of uh, wastewater. So more waste than you do fresh, but you also have a lot of fresh water to work with. So if you're somebody that likes to boondock, likes to go through a lot of water, you can hardly imagine you run or being concerned of running low on water. Now that we're inside, let's check out the living area. You'll notice a large leatherette sleeper sofa. Now this is a very plush sofa, so it's extremely comfortable to sit on. And what I like most about it is those armrests on both sides are at my arm level, so it's extremely comfortable just to sit back and relax on. And at the end of the day, it does turn into a bed, so you are able to sleep on that. Notice the large five-foot windows behind. And you have five-foot windows on both sides, so you get a lot of natural light in here. Um, but we talked about the trim level of the magnitude. So what that gives you is all solid wood raised panel cabinetry. Now that cabinetry is going to be finished with a high gloss. And this is our Pacific, which is the darker of the two cabinetry options. Just to show you the inside, none of our cabinets are going to have center styles that obstruct anything going inside, whether it be large Tupperwares or boxes or appliances. But a lot of cabinet space, a lot of natural wood. But let's take a look at the leatherette booth dinette. So this is a very large dinette, and just like the sleeper sofa, it's very plush and very comfortable to sit on. And you get plenty of leg room, the table is at a great height, and it is a wrapped laminate so it holds up well. But you'll notice the rear facing seat has additional storage underneath. So check out that large storage space for whatever items you want to put in here. Now the rear storage is not going to have, or the rear, sorry, the rear seat is not going to have any storage. That's going to have the brackets for the seat belts underneath there. Um, so you do get two seat belts in there standard. You do have additional outlets underneath the dinette. So if you have chargers you want to plug in, um, you can just rest in your cup holder. is very easy. But you can see the large window you got there letting in all that natural light. Something I want to show you, that trim on the slide out itself all solid wood. Now what's most exciting about the magnitude is this front bunk. Now we get that automotive windshield up front so whether it's late at night and you want to watch the stars or you're up at a race and you're getting a look at all the events going on you get a great field of view of no matter what you're looking at. Here we got the road right in front of us. Um, I mean great great view of whatever you're looking at. I mean, you have a window on the side as well. More light, more view. It does have the shades. But that automotive windshield in the front, that does have a power shade. So when you don't want that windshield, all you have to do is press one switch, and that shade goes down automatically, closing that window. Um, that window is tinted, though, so no one's going to be able to see on the inside if you just want to relax. But we do have the flat panel TV that does come out on a swivel so we've got a good game on you can swivel that TV out get a good field of view no matter where you are on the inside of the motorhome and right now it's in the locked position this little turnstile right here locks it in place when you want to move it you just unlock it swivel the arm out and this is a removable piece right here so if you want easier access into the cab all you have to do is to pick that up move it over simple now the kitchen with this trim level, you're getting all solid surface countertops. Beautiful design, something you're only finding in our high-end diesel pushers. 
and you'll notice we've added in double bowl stainless steel sinks. So it doesn't even feel like you've left home. You can have one for dirty, you can have the other one for clean. And with the retractable faucet, you're able to get anywhere in the sinks. You're not limited by space by any means. These sink covers also double for uh, cutting boards. As well to that, you do have pop-up outlets for any appliances you want to add into your kitchen. And we talked about conserving LP. Um, the tankless water heater we have on the outside conserves a lot of LP. And as well to that, this true induction cooktop as well conserves a lot of LP. What's nice about this, if you want to make mac and cheese real quick, the true induction gets water to a boil in 90 seconds because it's a concentrated heat. Um, and it's not like a normal flame. You need a special pan, which is extremely inexpensive. You can find it at any store nowadays. You can get them on Amazon. Um, all you have to do is get that pot, draw the heat out. It's a concentrated heat, so it's very quick. And what's nice if you have grandchildren or kids yourself, you put your hand on here, it's not going to burn you. So it's really convenient. And we know a lot of people love the two burners. So, of course, we got to add in the two burner as well. So you have both options at your disposal. And just adding to that trim level, we have actual tile backsplashes here. These aren't just some type of wallpaper, it's actual tile. And on, with your appliances, you're getting all residential appliances on the inside. So you get a stainless steel residential convection microwave, which does everything an oven does. And it's very large. You could fit a whole Thanksgiving turkey in there and have plenty of room. Also, more cabinetry up top. Get you a good look in there with outlets on the inside. I'm going to take a look at the cabinets down below. Just like any normal kitchen at home. Never know what this is really for. But, additional drawers. Remotes, silverware, junk drawers. You've got your trash bin here. More drawers. They're very deep. So you can fit all your utensils, all your barbecue supplies, any, basically anything. Plenty of room. More cabinetry space by eliminating the oven underneath for your pots and pans. And with the BH35 being the largest floor plan, we're able to put in an actual pantry. So you get two up top and then two down below extra storage spaces for any food or spices you may have. Now we can't forget the refrigerator. You have a double door refrigerator, stainless steel, residential. So you have an 1800 watt inverter in here. Now that freezer does have an ice maker on the inside. If anyone is wondering how does this work, because I don't want this flying open while I'm driving, you have a little hinge right here. When you're driving, you close it, and when you want to use it, open it up. Very simple, and that just locks it right back into place. Now a few things I want to hit on just that comes standard on this. You do have dual 13.5 ACs, one in the rear, one in the front, um, into, controlled independently. Um, it is roof channeled ventilation. And the construction of this is a steel floor with aluminum sidewalls and aluminum trusses on your roof. Now take a look at the bedroom. Beautiful cabinets above the bedroom. You got windows on each side of the bed. And this bed, what's so awesome about it is it's a king bed. And it is a king standard. It is not a queen like a lot of um, competing manufacturers will put in. A queen will be standard and you upgrade to the king. What happens when you put a queen in standard and you upgrade to the king is you lose those nightstands. So by putting a king in standard, we give you those nightstands. And it also makes us able to give you an actual walk-around bedroom. You do have outlets on each side of the bed. And across from that bed, you do have additional storage for clothing. You have more drawers. You do have a huge wardrobe space. What I love about these wardrobes is the mirrors. So if you like to get ready in the morning, you have plenty of space to change. Get ready. You could fit about five of me in these wardrobe spaces here. Plenty of room to hang clothing. And this TV here does pop up. So if you have PlayStation, Xboxes, DVD players, you can fit it all in here and I have the wires hanging out. Another window so you can see outside while you're sleeping. But, being the bath and a half, everyone wants to see this master bathroom here. 
finished cabinetry, actual tile backsplashes, but I love is the amount of mirrors we put in here. So one, it opens it up, but two, it gives you a lot of room to be able to just get organized, get ready in the mornings, um, just feel at home. Towel racks, lighting and bath fan controls. You have an actual porcelain toilet with a foot flush. Outlets, stainless steel sink. You have a fan in here as well, but actual solid door bathroom shower door. Stainless steel shower, skylight. So plenty of room in the shower itself. But probably the main thing I really do want to harp about our bathrooms is you have air in, you have heat in, which you'll see at the bottom here, and then you have air out. So we have a fully ventilated bathroom. With this pocket door, when you close it, that bathroom, you don't need any, you don't have to worry about being hot in there because it's fully ventilated. You got air in, heat in, air out. It's a very comfortable feeling. Also, you have 360 siphons in both bathrooms. And what that does is it's piping from your black tank up through your roof. So it's a constant draw of bad air out of your bathroom. We're out of your black tank, so no fumes come up into your bathroom itself. Now, we'll look at your mid-bath. And why the bath and a halves are so popular is because a lot of times you only have one bathroom in a motorhome. If you have people over, you have company, other people staying in your motorhome, you don't want them using your bathroom. You don't want them getting up at night, going across your bed. Um, and what this does is eliminates that. You have your master bath in the back, and you have a mid-bath for everyone to use at their disposal, whether it be at middle of the night or... During a party, you don't have to worry about invading your own space. Seek the controller for your tankless water here or there as well with additional outlets. But porcelain toilet with the foot flush. Finished cabinetry, stainless steel bowl sink. Beautiful design, fully ventilated, air in, heat in, air out. The last thing I want to hit on is the Firefly by Multiplex control system. Now what this does is controls everything in your motorhome from right here. All your wiring goes right here and then wirelessly is, has remotes all over the motorhome that control those areas independently. But you can still control everything from right here and you can even control it from your cell phone if you download this Vega Touch Mirror app. I have another video on this where you can check out all of the ins and outs of the multiplex system. So subscribe to my channel and take a look at that. Now, I love this Ford F550 XLT package. You know, a lot of soft touch features, but it just gives you that luxury feeling when you're up here. But it's a very modern, very well-built cab. I'd say it's the most modern cab in the RV industry. Uh, reason being is we've left all the Ford features in stock. So you have the Ford Sync 3 infotainment center that gives you Apple CarPlay, push to talk, um, Bluetooth capabilities, GPS. I mean, you get all the main features. You have a cruise control on this. Um, so it's, it's just like the automobile you're driving at home. We've also added in Mobile Eye Lane Assist. It's a collision avoidance system, which is that circle you're seeing on the left-hand side of the dash itself. Um, but we do not tie your side view cameras as well with your rear view camera into your infotainment center like you would in any other RV. We've actually added in an LED backup monitor. So what that does is that ties into your side view and your rear view camera. So whenever you engage those blinkers or engage the reverse, you're going to get that view on that camera itself. And that does have one-way audio. So you can hear whoever's spotting you. You can hear them say, back up, back up, stop. And it's much more convenient if you are in a tight spot. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more.